I might as well just keep it. You should always use a coupon. We made a financial mistake today. As if I did not spend enough money this week. I spent... Hi guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are just perusing <laughs> this trendy video right now, I'm a fashion YouTuber based in Toronto and this is my full-time job. Today I am taking you guys on a very intimate look into a week in my life and how much I spent. I started this on February 2nd and that means it's the beginning of the month and I thought this would be very interesting to show you guys what I really spend in a week and also interesting for myself because I'm not super conservative in the way that I spend. Um, I'm 26 years old, I live with my boyfriend and my dog and we rent a place um, in Toronto and Toronto's one of the most expensive cities in Canada so yeah, it gets to be a lot of money. It's expensive to live here. It's expensive to own a house here. Um, I'm always curious about what people spend in a week. There were things that came out of my bank account this month that I'm not going to count towards my spending per se because they are transfers that just go into my tax-free savings account um, and like other money that I put away from month to month. And that's just like, I just want to say that here because it's really important as someone who's self-employed to be taking care of yourself, think about your retirement and, um, just putting away money for like a rainy day fund in general. Let's just get into my week. Let's, let's try not to judge my, I'm going to try not to judge myself. So because it was the beginning of the month, our rent was due. We got little Toto here and we're going to take out our rent. I like, I already, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Like I already said, our rent is, I'm like, just for the purpose of this video and privacy, our rent is $1,900 a month. So that's what we're taking out right now. Ching. Yeah, I'm not gonna like obviously go into the bank and like show you guys like how I do that But we're gonna pay my rent right now Trust me. It's getting done. <laughs> Wish I didn't have to pay for it, but We gotta live right next thing I had to pay was my student loan and I'm paying $700 a month for my student loan and I hope to up that to about a thousand dollars a month in the future but right now seven hundred dollars is really manageable for me and i believe i'm going to be paying it off this year in hindsight would i've taken out a loan i think i would have had no choice like we did have money put away and i was very lucky about that but i come from a household of a single mom with three kids it is what it is and um i had to i had to do that i am really focused on paying it off now and it's something i am very very fortunate that i'm able to do and I'm gonna be able to pay it off. Like, I could probably pay it off in two months, which is really, really amazing. Let's get into the nitty gritty because that's already 900 plus 700, $2,600 I spent and it liter I literally didn't wake up yet. And then Monday, February 3rd, I spent $43.16 at on Amazon. I have an Amazon Prime problem, guys. I don't know if you guys ever have that, but this is what I bought. I'm gonna show you guys over here. Just got home and I want to show you guys what I picked up from Amazon. So that's pretty nice. This is it in action. Sorry, I know not everyone's excited about stuff like this, but when you have something big and clunky like this, that would literally take up our whole dish rack. I feel like having this is great. And I also got my Method dish soap refills. Um, yeah, I think that these are great. And then I also spent $4.28 on our Uber. So Dylan and I, we went to Sarah and Daniel's for the Super Bowl um, and then we, I guess we came home after midnight which is why it technically counts as a Monday expense. And then Tuesday, February 4th, I went to Rexall and spent a great $24. For those of you who may not know, I recently just got LASIK and that means that my eyes get really dry. It's just a side effect from recovery so I bought some eye drops at Rexall. My eyes are driving me nuts. At HomeSense, we had a gift card to spend that was about $50. It was actually from my birthday. So thank you, Haley, for gifting me that. We finally got around to spending it. We don't actually need anything in here, but I have a gift card for about 50 bucks. So I just wanted to see what was new. I felt like I need to get out of the house. So we did that. This goes with our vibe, even though I'm not gonna get it. Let's check how much it is though, just. $29.99. I kind of like this, like to maybe put in our front. How much is it? 50 bucks. So that may be a good solution because it has like a top and stuff. Yeah, I'll have a question. Do you like this? Is it a stool or is it a storage thing? It's a stool. 
It's a stool. Because we don't have a bench in the front to put our shoes on anymore. Does that so. thing open? Hell yeah, it does. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna pick this up with our gift card and then we're gonna buy this for Toledo. $6.99 and we don't know where any of his like treat dispensing toys, toys are, so we're gonna get that for him. It's kind of ugly, but the things you do, do you for your children. HomeSense, we spent about $33.57 after the gift card was deducted. And then we stopped at Loblaws and spent about $17.97 on the essentials because we had zero food in our fridge. I was up in my family home like all week, so we had no groceries, so we had to go and get that. Okay. So what I picked up from HomeSense, we also got these little ramekins by Samantha Pin Home. These were on sale for $7 and they are oven safe which is really great too, but my plan with these is just to use them for prep. So when we cut like little vegetables and garlic and onions and all that, I like, we don't have a lot of counter space and we don't have a lot of like, we don't have anything small like this. So I thought that these would be really great for when we need them. And then I also picked up a tea ball. I actually don't have one of these surprisingly. I used to, and it's um, back at like my actual house house, but this was $4.99 and it's dishwasher safe, which is great. And these are really good. So I have a lot of loose leaf tea that I still want to use and I just realized that today. And then Dylan insisted we get this refrigerator air freshener and it's activated charcoal. So instead of baking soda, you can use this like over and over again instead of tossing out the baking soda when it gets like too gross. So hopefully this will be good. And then the last thing Dylan insisted we get is for Toledo. We have to wash it before he uses it. But it is a rubber dog toy and it's kind of like a Kong, but we can't find our Kong. I think it's at my actual home home. Um, but there's two openings and then Toledo can like toss it around and play with it because that's like his favorite type of toy, like the treat dispensing ones. And then I picked up my oat milk, which I ran out today and that's like the only thing I have in my coffee pretty much, so that's why. And then I also got this huge bag of shredded marble. Sometimes we like to do pasta bakes or like tacos or anything like that and I find a lot of it has to do with shredded cheese, so I got this. Another expense that actually I mentioned in this video that we cover, but Dylan actually covered it this month, is our dog medication. Our dog has taken flea medication and heartworm medication, and um, he also has eye medication. So that costs Dylan about $300, but because he did that this month, I did not have to pay for it, which is really great. Okay, so Wednesday was a fun day because I just watched Carly Bible's tutorial on how to tint your brows at home using Just For Men. You guys still have the bonjour now? Yes, yeah, this one. It's my favorite, for anyone just wondering. I saw Carly Bybel, um dyeing her eyebrows with Just For Men and I know she's not the first person to do it, but after seeing her do it, I feel a lot more confident that I could do it. So now we're at Shoppers and I want to stop by and get a Just For Men. <laughs> She got dark brown. H45? Medium dark brown. Dark brown is this, uh, the guy in green, this guy. Right here. Oh, I don't know if I should get medium dark brown or dark brown. The only thing we picked up from our home since tomorrow was something for the dog. You put a wallet. But then what was funny is when I got home, I realized this. I got the hair one, not the beard one. Wait, there's a difference? Yeah. So we are officially off to shoppers because we're gonna exchange the Just For Men. So if I don't do it today, I'll never do it. And we'll just have this like random Just For Men products that thank God I didn't put on my eyebrows. We are back a few hours later and I finally got the right thing. This is what you want. You don't want the regular hair dye, you want the mustache one. Okay, I feel like I need to wash it off. Now it's a minute and it might as well be like just, I might as well just keep it. Oh, I should have used this mirror. The light's so much better. Hope one's not darker than the other. Ah! Okay, I still feel my eyebrow hair, so that's good, I guess. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna wash the rest of my face. So, I actually got the wrong dye. Isn't that crazy? So, I walked all the way to Shoppers, returned it, and then got the actual proper mustache and beard dye that I was supposed to get. And that was pretty much the same amount of money, so... I still only spent $16.94 after swapping them and exchanging them. My friends and I decided to have a craft day and we decided to make resin coasters. It's a snowy Thursday today and we are on our way to Michael's because we're going to do some crafts. We got an extra friend here today. So stay tuned for the end result, um, more towards the end of this video. 
but I spent $37.24 at Michael's. Key is this would have cost a lot more, however, um, we all decided to use 40% off coupons. We all split the bills and it was all fine and dandy. Friday, I had family things, so we spent nothing that day. Saturday, however, Saturday was a lot. Saturday was Dylan and my seven year anniversary. Yes, we've been together for seven years. And it's crazy how time flies. Like he's literally my best friend. Uh, you guys have seen him in a lot of my videos and we should definitely do like an updated boyfriend tag or something. I think that'd be really fun. But that day we decided to go and eat at a vegan restaurant. It's called Hello123. And as we were fighting back and forth for the bill, somehow we made a financial mistake. We made a financial mistake today. But to anyone who's a server who's watching me, you'll probably be really happy that we did this. And then we were fighting over the bill, just basically trying to fight who wanted to treat the other person. And then we accidentally tipped 20% and I we think did it was 25. 25? Yeah. <gasps> We yeah, did tip 20. We tipped 25 percent by accident. If you're a server, you probably love that, and I know servers really take pride in their service and their tips. So I don't feel too bad about that, and it's not something I would absolutely never ask for the money back unless I literally tipped like 400 percent or something. But so that happened, and our bill was 61 dollars and 45 cents. And then we stopped on over to EQ3, which is a little furniture store that is actually kind of expensive. And I know you actually can't see it here, but I got a little wooden nub for our light fixture to sit on here just because I felt like it was more complete. It was something I wanted to do for a long time, but at the time we just had it on a screw. And that was $22.59. I was quite excited for my nub. And then I realized IKEA literally has the same thing for $6. So that was annoying. And then we also spent $9.99 at Metro. And that was really because my sister wanted me to pick something up. And then Sunday, February 9th, we went and got lunch at a coffee shop and coffee. So I spent a total for the two of us, $30.79. And by we, I mean Dylan and I, obviously. And then we went to Loblaws afterwards. So the way I think about groceries is more that as long as I'm eating it, it's not a waste and I really try to get like some healthy food too, like the healthier option of a lot of things. So if I can buy organic and can afford to, I will control <laughs> it in the wine. I spent $145.49 and those groceries, we also have to pick up like essentials like olive oil and butter and things that last longer than the week and then i decided to add on attack on monday um and my expenses for monday because friday i technically didn't spend anything and we were supposed to go earlier in the week to buffalo but we didn't so the girls and i went to thrift just kind of like enjoy each other's company <laughs> like film some videos and stuff like that and we love to go to trader joe's target and then the thrift store so I'm gonna break it up for you. First thing we did was grab some lunch and I spent $15.96 US. And then at Trader Joe's, I spent $69.61 US. And then at Target, I spent $124 US. I want to show you guys a few things that I picked up. So this is kind of like a tour with me haul because I already put things away. Um, but I want to show you guys the makeup I picked up at Ulta. This is also available in Canada, but I felt like because I was at Ulta and I had a coupon and you know all that fun stuff, I might as well pick it up there. So the first thing I got was this Physician's Formula Sculpting Bronzer. Thought that was super fun. And then I got the Butter Bronzer from Physician's Formula. It smells so good. And then I got, thanks to um, Daisy Cash and her recommendation, I love her makeup videos on YouTube. Um, this is the NYX On The Rise Mascara and she said it's really good for like straight Asian lashes to hold curl without being a waterproof formula. So that's why I decided on this. And then the last thing I got, I already used it, but it's the ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid and I am wearing a medium 12W, so I think that's 12 warm. And then I want to show you guys the little coasters we made because I know like you guys saw me like spending money on that and stuff like that. So this is how like one of them turned out. It's just a little coaster and the googly eyes move and I thought that was super cute. So if you guys want to check out our resin projects in the future, let me know because we actually ordered a few more molds to create some other fun things. But I thought that was 
I thought that was so fun. Moving on to thrift. The main thing I got was really just meant for like projects coming up in the future so you guys will see those. But I got this sweater and it's super cute. It's just this polo cable knit one and I love it. So I got that. And then I also picked up some shelves from Target which are already installed but they're not completely styled and organized. So I'm just going to show you guys them here. So we actually purchased some bins that aren't clear but basically for our storage in the bathroom Dylan and I share this little cabinet and then under the sink. So there's not a ton of storage for two people and I love my products so I got some little bins to put there. And then I also got two of these towels from the Hearth and Hand collection. These are also from Target. I also picked up these running shorts from Target. Um, we may be traveling in the near future so I think that these will be really nice for summer warm that we're going. So we also went to Trader Joe's and I picked up a few things. I'm not gonna show you guys like everything, but Dylan has the almond granola over here. Is it good, Dill? <laughs> so I got the almond granola, which is like literally almost done. Look at our very empty fridge, but I picked up this green goddess salad dressing, which expires on March 3rd. So it hopefully will encourage me to eat more salad because that's what I would like to do. And then I also got this Italian Bomba hot pepper sauce. Um, I thought that would be really nice like on toast. And then we also picked up the Trader Joe's vegan kale pesto. And then this tomatillo salsa verde, which I like love, love, love this stuff on eggs. I think it's so yummy. This caramelized onion dip. And then these almond cheese alternative mozzarella shreds. And I think that these are actually pretty good considering they're not real cheese. I think that they're actually a pretty decent option. I also picked these up for Dylan to try. They are the Trader Joe's Organic Cold Brew Coffee. My fridge beeps when it's been out for too long. But I really am excited to try that as well. And then the only frozen thing I got was the kale gnocchi. I tried it yesterday and honestly guys, it wasn't that good. Um, but I think I'm not making it right, so. Hey Toto, get out of there. At the thrift, I spent about 22 bucks out of, that's actually really good. I only spent $22 at the thrift store. That's insane. I got some good stuff there, which you guys will be seeing in another video. And then that totaled, when you convert it over to Canadian, that means that I thought I spent about $2.50, but I guess I wasn't thinking about my groceries and stuff. So I spent about $301.48 in the US. So how much did I spend this week, y'all? Let's add it up. So from Monday to Sunday, I spent $493.36. I'm just gonna add up everything now. Wanna guess how much I spent this week? Mm. You can't see it, right, on my phone? Mm. Um. 980. I spent $3,394.84 this week, but that includes our rent, mm. my student loan payment, because it was the beginning of the month. Is that surprising for me? No, because rent was due this week, and plus we were planning that state's trip for a long time. It's not something we do all the time. And then if you really think about my regular everyday expenses from Monday to Sunday, I spent about $500, which is less than 100 bucks a day. And some of those um, covered both Dylan and my meal or something like that. And um, we really like to go back and forth. We're not super like strict on who pays for what. We, um, we work together a lot, so it's something that we share. What's mine is yours sort of thing. But I'm not super, super surprised. Could I be better? Absolutely. I think we all could be better in terms of the budgeting thing. One thing that I have been doing, if you guys, actually maybe you guys won't even notice because maybe this is like a lot, for a lot of people, maybe this is like eating out a lot. But for me, this is like actually eating out and like um, ordering food a lot less than I normally do. We really do try to cook our meals at home and really just spend a lot of time at home. And um, yeah, like I didn't really do any clothing shopping this week besides the thrift store, which is amazing. I think I did okay this week. Let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, I just want to be honest and share with you guys how I do. Saving money is always top of mind for me. It's something that will help me achieve my goals in the near and far future. It's something that I really want to work on. So with that being said, guys, let me know if you guys like these like weekly vlog videos or whatever and just these sit down chatty ones and I'm gonna go. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.